If there's one player in the NBA that you could play with, who would you want that player to be? One player. Jelly Bean. Kobe? Jelly Bean. He's the best player in the game? Oh, hands down. Kobe picks up the phone, he calls you, he says, time's running out. We getting old together. It's time for us to walk away from this game in a couple of years. Let's come make one last run together. I want you to come to L.A. <laughs> I want you to come to L.A. with me. Yeah, after I won the championship, I might take you up on that, Jelly Bean. And it's good to play with the best player in the world on your team because it makes stuff a lot, lot easier. Kobe calls you the best player in the world. Obviously, you guys are getting along quite well out there. 28 points tonight. When and why did you come to the revelation that this is the greatest player on the planet, Kobe Bryant? Because uh, when I first came to L.A., Jerry showed me a tape of this kid, and I knew he had potential. And a lot of people thought we had problems. We never really had problems at all. I'm the big brother. He's the little brother. I want him to be the best player in the world. I really do. So, you know, uh, we really didn't have struggles. You know, I, I think the media wanted us to have struggles. You know, just two great players playing on the same thing. And, you know, same team. You know, things not going well. But, uh, you know, you know, he's uh, right now, you know, he's playing great. You know, he's getting everybody involved. Plus, he's giving opponents the business. <laughs> well, no problems. You are creating problems, though. 2 on -oh, the Spurs. Let's go back to Kevin. Thank you, Craig. The Lakers. Best player in the league. So, A-plus on that side. And, you know, A-plus for, you know, being a great guy. And, he even let me, you know, take the trophy home today for my boys. So, appreciate him for that. All right, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think we're the greatest one-two punch ever. Kobe on the move. Loud throw. Some combo, huh? Either Kobe comes first with the jab, and then you follow with me the knockout, or either Shaq comes with the jab, and then you follow with. Yeah, he is the best. Yeah, we got number one. Hey. MVP? Yes, sir. You should win it. We got the best record. There was games where, even though I was on the court, I just wanted to watch Kobe, you know, do his thing because it was just so much fun just watching him go to work. And, you know, he comes into practice every day with the same mentality, get better, you know, not just offensively but defensively. He's the last person leaving the gym, and he's always working on different moves and different shots. And then he gets in the game. He tries it. And it works. He's a really, really good player. Um, individually, he has some of the best skills um, that the NBA has ever seen in history. Um, and he's shown year after year after year why he continues to be one of the best players in our league. The way he's perfected his mid-range jumper: uh, one, two, one dribble, two dribble, pump fake. Kobe's got to go to work. Reverse spin shot. Yeah, I watch it. <laughs> yeah, I study it. I mean, it gets to a point where you be like, you know, I didn't think I could get better today until now you got to guard Kobe Bryant. James on Bryant. Honestly, I look at Kobe Bryant as that guy that um, is the best, one of the best in our league. Every time when I'm not playing, um, if the Lakers on TV, I'm watching them. I'm watching him. I'm trying to learn from him and see how he may be attacking this certain team that he's playing. Because a lot of teams kind of play me the same way that they may play Kobe with double and triple teams and, you know, <laughs> making you have to facilitate to your teammates. Yes. So I definitely look at Kobe as that guy that, you know, he's that guy. He's that one. Behind the back. Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely um, a special feeling. You know, when the, be the best player in the NBA is here at my high school, you know, he used to come here when I. Kobe starts on the defensive end. I mean, today, just in practice today, you know, he got out the, the rookie point guard. Six straight possessions, he's stripping. He's not about just scoring and highlights. He's about the dirty work. Kobe has been unselfish, has been willing to do whatever it takes to win. Woo! Hey now, hey now. You know, he was a uniquely gifted kid, and, and when we were able to make a trade for him, I told Jerry Buss, you know, we were, obviously our eyes were on Shaquille O'Neal, um, but I told Jerry Buss, I said, I think we got the number one player in the draft. I said, he's got something really special about him, but to watch him today, uh, he's been through a lot in his life, and uh, I mean, he's such an accomplished player, and to see a player like that perform, it's, it's fun for me to watch. He, he plays the game the way it should be played. He competes every night. 
he makes great plays at the end of games, and there's not very many people like that in professional basketball. He's, he's, he's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime player, um, or I should probably say once-in-an-era player, yeah. because we have some incredible players in the past, but uh, he's, he's truly magnificent, and uh, you know, I'm proud to have watched him grow up and, from a 17-year-old kid. Uh, he couldn't even sign a contract <laughs> until he was 18 in California. The difficulty in defending a player like Kobe Bryant because of the drive, determination, and skill he brings to the floor. I mean, the, the guy's a worker. You know, um, and, and when I was a rookie, you know, I would go home and beat myself up at night because I couldn't stop this guy. And I'm looking at him eight, nine years later, and, you know, what was I beating myself up about? Nobody can stop him. I mean, here's a guy, when he gets to a spot, even if you slide your feet and you're, and you're in good defensive position, he can rise up over you. Here's a guy who's so long, he can throw the ball by you off a, a throwout dribble, as, as we call it in, in, in the NBA. I mean, you know, he, he and, and when he when he gets it going, there's pretty much nothing you can do. And I and I've seen it at at the pro level. I saw it in high school. He, he burnt us for about 55 in the AAU. Uh, Elton Brand was my teammate in that game, so he may remember that as well. I mean, Kobe Bryant is he's a guy who's made himself. He was a guy who was the first guy at practice every you know every day. Uh, broke his wrist one time, was still the first guy at practice the next day. Wow. So you know, I saw firsthand why he's the greatest. And you saw this and experienced this, John, before he became the Kobe Bryant up today so when you're having those NBA practices you don't know yet that he's gonna become this so that played with your psyche now this is probably his third or fourth year in the league so uh, you know I'm coming out of Villanova and I'm trying to establish myself on this Lakers squad as well but uh, you know not being able to stop a guy who was actually younger than me you know because I'm one year older than Kobe really upset me a lot but you know I, I sit back now and uh, you know I'm sitting on TV talking about him I mean Kobe Bryant is a worker and he's made himself the best, and I, I can guarantee you if they have practice tomorrow, he'll be the first guy there as well. So you didn't know at the time you were an elite company. Where do you rank Kobe Bryant in the history of the game? He definitely is in the top ten players of all time, no question about it. If you had to put together an all-time NBA backcourt, starting guards, I think right now nobody could argue with Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. But the second team's guards would definitely be Kobe and Oscar Robertson. That's who I would put on there. Who do you think is the best player in the world right now? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Because he is. And I'll argue anybody down about that one. That is the best player in the league. No disrespect to any other player, but Kobe Bryant is the best player in the NBA. Is it his game, his mentality? It's everything. He, he's, um, he's along the mental line of Tiger Woods and uh, Michael Jordan. So that's what makes him great. Wonderful. I think Kobe Bryant is the best basketball player I ever seen outside of Magic and Michael Jordan. Those are my two favorites. Magic Johnson was in my era, and then Michael came along. But Kobe's just number one. There's no no question about it. He is the best basketball player today. All right. When you were playing, what was your position? How good were you as a basketball player? Basketball. No, no, no. I wasn't good. I could shoot, but that's about it. I suck. I ain't gonna lie. What about? With the shot clock down to seven. It's Bryant who has started two of three. He's unbelievable. He, he is he is the best player in the NBA, the most talented player in the NBA. Like he said, he can get any shot anytime he wants against this team. Dish for Kobe's the best player? Why do you say that? His technical precision of the game. You know, if you did a highlight reel of his high degree of difficulty plays, no, he'd be unrivaled. Obviously, you know, LeBron brings power, you know, Dwayne Wade brings speed, but Kobe brings commands. You know, every single aspect of the game from, from you know, jump stops to head fakes to, um, you know, jab steps, he has in his arsenal. And, and he puts them together to create basketball moves that no one else in the league can do. Kobe Bryant was fantastic. Uh, I really enjoyed speaking with him and, and got to see firsthand why he's the best player on the planet. Uh, he works harder than anyone I've ever met. Uh, he makes a thousand shots a day in addition to doing his strength training, uh, his flexibility work, working on his core. Uh, he puts in more work than anybody and deserves to be as good as he is. In my opinion, Kobe Bryant is better than Michael Jordan. You have to look at it this way. These days the players are much more athletic. They're much stronger. And the NBA is a different game than it was back then.